do 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 bum ba da da dum bum ba da 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's riveting episode of Cooking with Stupid, where, as always, production value sucks, and so are the jokes. Don't forget, guys, Deadly Grounds Coffee, it is coffee to die for, getdeadly.com. Order a lot. Order often. Order it all. Well, not all of it, because I want to order some, too. Yeah. I mean, be fair to the other kids out there, everybody. Um, so, hey, happy Sunday, everyone. Happy uh, WrestleMania weekend, if you are... Still watching wrestling. I haven't watched in forever in a day. <laughs> um, but, I digress. Tonight's show, what are we doing? Well, we're doing a little something different. Pinky's out. So, um, as you all know, what was it, a week ago? Two weeks ago? I tried something new. I saw it in the frozen food aisle. Uh, the Bubba Bites, they were called. God-awful. Oh my god, save yourself the money. Even if you have a coupon, don't do it. They're... The dog wouldn't eat them. That's how bad they were. So it got me to thinking, well, let's try some other new frozen foods, shall we? So I went to the local market today, and I perused the frozen aisle, and I looked, you know, just for things that said new. New to us, new to the market, and we found three things. So, uh, our first item up, because we love it so much, it's uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Style Chicken Dip. Now, if you guys remember back in February-ish, January? I think February. it was January. Super Bowl. Something yeah. like that. Super Bowl time. We did our own Frank's Red Hot Sauce Chicken Dip. I thought mine was fantastic. But new out on the market, you want to come over here and peruse and take a look? So, brand new out in the market. Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Style Chicken Dip. Now, the only thing I'm going to have a problem with this is white meat chicken, cream cheese, bleh. It's a cream cheese you're going to have a problem with. And Frank's Red Hot Traditional Cayenne Pepper Sauce. Now, I love Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Y'all know I don't do creamy. So I out of the ring light. Yeah, I don't do spicy very well at all, but I love me some Frank's Red Hot. Tina, stay tuned tomorrow for the Tack of the Hot Sauce filmed yeah. in the bathroom. The next item up uh, we found is this new Bird's Eye Lasagna with Meat Sauce. Pasta made from vegetables. So we're going to give this one a shot. It's lentil zucchini pasta layered between a savory tomato beef sauce with uh, three cheeses. I just want you guys to know I had no say in the matter on this. Yeah. Now, personally, I hate zucchini. I despise lentils and zucchini, so I'm so not going to have fun with this. We're going to give it a shot. And uh, this other one we saw on the market, Taipei chicken fried rice. Again, these are all things you can throw in the microwave. Um, however, the bird's eye, you can actually prepare in the oven. Yes, Tina, yes, he did. I did what? Steamrolled right over my comment reading of her comment. Oh. Because oh. you completely ignored everything we said. What were it's you cool. saying? I'll read it again. Let's go again. Stay tuned tomorrow for the attack of the hot sauce filmed in the bathroom. Yes. You will listen to that time. I heard that time. You paid attention. I did. Okay. Very good then. Carry Apologize on. to her. Sorry, Tina. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> um, first one we're going to try is... Oh, oh that no. fell over. Everything's falling over now. First item we're going to try is this Taipei chicken fried rice. Give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Like I said... Fried you, rice in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> we're, I, this is going to be interesting. I, I don't know how this one's going to turn out. Um, but, you know... We're trying something out new, so that maybe you don't have to, or maybe you should. You don't know. So we are going to nuke all of these. However, we are going to allow a few minutes for them to cool down. Because unlike myself, I like to taste my food. Bobby, however, can eat lava and it doesn't affect her. I like things to be boiling hot. Leave mm -hmm. me alone. Cooking instructions. Roof tamper banned from package. Check. Microwave on high with lid on for four minutes. Let stand for two minutes. Complete cooking. Carefully remove lid. Caution container will be extremely hot. Really? <laughs> Valerie, yeah. Fried rice in the microwave. Interesting. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four. So, we're firing it away there. Dewey's Comic City. <laughs> go check him out. Um, so, while this is cooking, we are going to go back and forth and we're going to review some 
just some of this month's charity fundraiser auction stuff, guys. And we'll tell you what that charity fundraiser is going to be. Now, unfortunately, we did have some rollover items from last month's charity fundraiser auction. Um, sorry about that. But these things happen. So, as you know, when we do our charity fundraiser auctions, guys, the auction's always over Sunday night, the last Sunday of every single month. Eh, like 8, 9 o'clock at night. We give everybody until 10 p.m. the following Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to get your winning donations slash bids in for our charity auction. If you default on that, you are forfeiting your items, but they are getting rolled over to the next month. No biggie. It gives you a second chance to win them. But however, and it has happened in the past, if you are a repeat offender of doing something like that, you are going to get a 30-day ban from the show. You can still watch the show. You can still interact with the show. But the next auction that comes up, you can bid on stuff. We're going to ignore it. That's just how it works. If you subsequently keep become a repeat offender, then you're going to be flat out banned from the show. We're raising money for charity here, guys. I try not to be a dick. It happens often, though. But it's for charity. I mean, it's not fair to the charity. It's not fair to us. And it's not fair yeah. to the other people bidding. And I've said this up and down a lot. If you cannot bid on items, don't. Take care of yourselves first. Take care of your families, your loved ones. We're doing fine, guys. We've been doing this for three years now. We've been doing these auctions for two. I mean, I, I know that we're giving to charities and everything, and it's awesome that everyone wants to help out and, and help us with this. But if you're going to put yourself in a financial hardship by doing this, please do not do it. Yeah. Um, but that having been said, guys, so y'all know... We got this beautiful CBCS. I mean, dude, this thing is great. Hi, guys. You can see me in the reflection. <laughs> this is a Wolverine number three. Uh, it is autographed by Mark Bagley. It's a virgin variant cover. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that's just one of the items up for auction. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That comes to us from our friends over at Fat Moose Comics. Go follow them on Facebook, YouTube. Instagram, all that jazz. It was too dark for them to see it. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. We got extra lighting going tonight. Well, too. here. Let me see. Shh, do you... oh, like, give me the comic. There you go. Does that help a little bit? A little bit more gooder. So Wolverine number three CBCS signature series autographed by Mark Bagley. That is just one beautiful cover, guys. I mean, that is gorgeous. All right. It I is, got the okay. <laughs> it is rated a 9.4. Outstanding. I'm going to bid on that myself. Turn it because the ring light's like glaring off of it. I'm right. not going to lie. I'm totally bidding on that one myself. Now, our rollover items for last month. We still have the Winter Soldier and the Falcon Funko Pops from the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, real quick while you're on the next stuff. Hey, Mike, so we're, we're making frozen stuff tonight. <laughs> yeah. We'll go over it in a second, Mike. Also, rolling over are the Shipwreck and the Leatherneck G.I. Joe Funkos. La, 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 la. And the last item up from a rollover. Oh, we got, uh, this is the New York Comic Con exclusive. Beastman 10 inch Masters of the Universe Funko. Hey, fried oh, rice is done. Our chicken fried rice is done. Our chicken microwave rice is our done. Our microwave chicken fried rice. So, Mike, you were asking what we were cooking tonight. Um, looking it. through the comments real quick. So, what we are doing is uh, we're trying out new, new frozen foods. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I did, uh, I put up a post about those. Uh, yeah, it's hot. Uh, I put up a post about trying those uh, Bubba Bites, and they were god-awful. So, Want we're going to... Nah, I'm good, but I got a fork. I actually got a fork. That's your fork. Well, I was so, going to use a spork. No, you can use a spork. No, mine. It's too So, late. we're just going to stir this up a little bit. And uh, while we're... That just fell off on the table. Oh, that's hotter than sin. Okay. You can see the steam coming off of it, Ooh. even in the video. So we're just going to let that sit and cool down. <laughs> Microwave the next thing. And then we're going to go nuke the next thing. Um, so that's what we're doing tonight, guys. What we're going to be doing is we're just going to be sampling some new items that are out on the market in the frozen food aisle. 
um, just to see how they taste. If they're great, we're going to give them a, an honest review. If they're horrible, we're going to let you know. Um, so we're doing three items tonight. We got a Taipei frozen chicken fried rice, which I don't know how that's going to translate out. Frozen fried rice. Yeah, it could be good. Could be bad. The other one, we got the Frank's chicken, uh, the Frank's red hot sauce chicken dip that they do. Brand new out on the market. And the other one is a bird's eye plant-based lasagna. Now, it's got a savory meat sauce, it says, but the pasta itself is made with uh, lentil zucchini. That should be interesting as hell. I hate zucchini. The new fast food joints by Walmart. The only one that's open, it's Starbucks and Chipotle. And if you've been to one of them, you've been to them all. Yeah. The I only mean, one that I'm looking forward to is Panda Express. I've hey, never Jackie Hannon's watching. Hi, Jackie. Welcome to the show. First time for a live one, huh? So if it's bad, does that count toward the Wheel of Doom? No, not really. I, oh, I'm not going to... Oh. Bobby oh. banged her elbow. No, I have an elbow cramp. Oh. oh I'm not going to sit here and bash the manufacturers of these things, guys. I mean, that's all on them. But, I mean, if their products suck, their products suck. Yeah, I mean, but we're going to give an honest review. So next up, we're going to fire up the Frank's Red Hot. Oh, you don't want to save that for dessert and then hit the hit that lasagna? I'm, I'm just nuking them all right now. All right, so that yeah, looks interesting enough. It looks like a standard TV dinner yeah. thing. Microwave directions. Preferred method. Uh, remove tray from outer carton. Check! Cut a one inch Hi, slit. Cut a one inch slit in center of film cover. Yeah, it's about an inch. I'm not going to take my little wee wee out to check it. Microwave on high for three minutes. Carefully peel back films. Stir, replace film, microwave on high, one and a half to two minutes longer, or until fully cooked. We're actually not watching WrestleMania tonight, Doug. I'm, yeah. I'm going to catch up on it later because I got quizzes and homework and stuff I got to do. Yeah. And just a quick reminder, guys. Do not no spoil spoilers. it. No spoilers. You will get banned off the show. Flat out. Just saying. All right. Microwave on high, three minutes. One, two, three. After the three minutes, carefully peel back, replace, blah, blah, blah. So in those three minutes, let's look at some more items that we got going up for auction this month. You eat your we? piping hot rice. I could try my piping hot rice. But I figure when I have to go to restir that, I'll give that a shot. All right, so we have the Mark Bagley, the Mark Bagley autographed Wolverine number no. 3, CBCS uh, 9.4. You saw the Funkos rolled over from last month. Now... This is going to be a Funko heavy show, guys. So, in honor of that, and a big thank you to our friends at NJ Collectibles and Supplies. Go follow them on Facebook. That's NJ Collectibles and Supp Supplies. We have this uh, Pop Shield Armor 2 pack. Uh, has medic magnetic locking lid for strong seal and easy opening. Branded with Pop Shield logo on top, except no imitations. Extra thick crystal clear acrylic. Uh, four inch figures fit perfectly with no room to move around. So there's your Pop Shield Armor 2 pack, guys. Again, thank you to our friends at NJ Collectibles and Supplies. If you guys collect Funkos, you want to check these guys out. But we're going to be auctioning it off this two pack. It's NJ Collectibles and Supplies. What is it, honestly, that you do not like about cream cheese? I just hate cream cheese. I have some in the fridge if you want some. Ugh. Also, this is more for our New Jersey-based viewers. Um, this comes to us from Bobby's sister, actually, so thank you, Vicky. Um, we have a uh, four-pack of tickets. Uh, these are good for the Garden State Discovery Museum. So if you guys are looking for anything to do this summer, you got a nice day. We got this pack of four tickets. They don't expire this year. So uh, admit one, admissions to Garden State Discovery Museum. This is located... Uh, 2040 Springdale Road, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Even if you're out of state and you plan on coming to New Jersey sometime this year, go for it. So that's actually pretty cool. Thank you, Vicky, for that little gift. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's check this stuff out now, shall we? I think it's cooled down enough. All right, so first item up is the Taipei chicken fried rice. Bobby's going to give it a shot, too. Is there an age minimum um, for the museum? Hmm. I'm going to go around the peas because fuck peas. Um, not that I'm aware of, but go to uh, www.discoverymuseum.com for, I guess, all the information that they have there. Right there, guys. 
www.discoverymuseum.com for all the information. Um, yeah, but they're located in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, so you got a set of four tickets that'll get you in. I can already tell you this is better than every chicken fried rice I've gotten from any Chinese restaurant around the area in over three years. Yeah, this is actually not bad. The last time I got chicken fried rice, I don't remember what restaurant it was at, but it was so bland. I couldn't tell that it was chicken at all. It tasted worse than normal rice, which has no flavor. So that's like what it looks like inside. You can't really see that here. Yeah. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go stir the Frank's hot sauce dip and everything now. Cherry Hill, way south New Jersey. Yeah, but you know what? That's kind of, it's a nice drive. So it's just rice and peas and chicken. You know, chicken fried rice. rice. Some vegetables and whatnot. It's got peas in it. It's the downside. Yeah, Bobby's not a big fan of peas. I know, I said that while you were rambling before. I'll just shut the hell up then. You probably should. Thank you. Not bad though. Peas for flinging at others. I like that. Hey James, what's up? Right, he, on the other hand, absolutely loves peas, so they are all him. Yep. All right. Give me that dip. Well, I'm stirring it, and I gotta re-microwave it. Oh, that's not fair. Well, nothing in life is. You know, don't you get all philosophizer on me? All right. So I have removed the film. I have stirred it. And now I have to microwave it for another one and a half, two minutes. Taking one more bite and you can have the rest of it. Yep. So there we go, guys. Um, so you know what? My honest review, if you see this in your frozen food aisles, Taipei chicken fried rice. I get it. Yeah. Um, it actually has a pretty nice flavor to it. It surprisingly if you put that on a plate i wouldn't have really known it was frozen yeah i mean the rice is it's nice and fluffy um how are your peas you can taste the individual vegetables in this i'll give you that there's a little carrot we're no we're just using actual scoops i don't think have we ever really even used fruit uh the frito scoops i've eaten them but um i don't think we've actually ever used them for anything no, I did. I made uh, nachos for you that one time. I meant on the show. Oh, no. I imagine a spoon. Yeah. James, so... you're such an ass and I fucking oh. love you. <laughs> so I'm going to give um, the Taipei chicken fried rice. Sorry. Why that get me? I'm going to give you, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather enjoy it. Oh, I just got the whiff of the cream cheese from the dip. Yep. Oh, mm. the whole house smells like cream cheese now. Mmm. Oh my god. That was funny as hell. Yeah, that was actually pretty tasty. I'm not... I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> Why am I so laughing right. at that? Now, we're gonna go in. We're gonna get our, uh... Our French Red Hot... And the chips we bought for it. And we're gonna get the chips for it, too. So, here we go. Oh, that's I mean, just full-on cream cheese on there. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like the dip I made Vicky, for the Super Bowl. what you making? Um, frozen shit. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky, so, uh, welcome to the show tonight. Oh, sorry, I kicked you. What we're doing tonight is we're trying out new, new-to-the-market frozen food items. So far, we did, uh, a Taipei chicken fried rice, which actually was surprisingly really good. This is the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo-style chicken dip made with chicken... I guess that's what the lumps are. Uh, made with chicken, cream <laughs> cheese, and Frank's Red Hot Original Cayenne Pepper Sauce. Ugh. Oh, that was a cleanser. Be healthy to have carrots with it. Hey, the fried rice has little carrots in it. It's fine. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> My younger sister. Yeah, Val. Yeah, wink, wink. So, while we're doing that, next up is the Bird's Eye Lasagna with Meat Sauce. It's a pasta made with vegetables. It comes with lentil, zucchini, pasta... Layer between a savory tomato beef sauce with three cheeses. I'm not so sure I'm going to like that. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're just trying these things out, guys. They're new to the market. Like, of all of them, I think that one's probably going to be my least favorite. Yeah. But, you know, you not learn without trying. It's so tiny. That's what it looks like. It's kind of comparable it's to so the tiny. Stouffer. Yeah, it looks just like the Stouffer's. Peel back corner to vent film. This is so small. 
All right, so I'm going to assume that we're going to take this corner because it's the largest piece. The sodium content on these, what is it? Uh, let's see, the sodium content on the bird's eye one, dear mother of God, 1,260 milligrams. That's 55% of your sodium Is that intake. per serving or is that the whole thing? That's per serving, which is one container. Oh, dear God. The Franks, Bobby's going to read I'm off. I'm going to read this one. So, so I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. keep in mind, there's 10 servings per package of this. Yeah, 10, 10 servings. servings. Per serving, there's 210 milligrams. That's a lot. That's over, that's what, 2,000? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. All right, so cook on high for two minutes. So our bird's eye lasagna. There's over 2,000 milligrams of sodium in that thing. We're going to put that on high for two minutes. You grab your chips. You getting the chips? We're going to go look at the sodium content on the rice now. We're getting the dip. We're going to try this one out next. Now this... the sodium content on the... Chicken fried rice. So the whole container, uh, 740 milligrams. That's not that bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but it's not You need bad. a gallon of water, yeah. Yeah. Um, for those of you who have a heart condition like I do. I have a feeling I'm gonna be finishing this dip. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so I'm not gonna go too nuts here. I will. Hmm. You know what? <clears throat> Ooh. Hey, did you forget it's buffalo? Yeah. Um, I definitely taste the cream cheese. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Oh. But, Ooh. The only thing I don't like is how liquidy it is. Yeah, it could be a little thicker. Hold on. Let me get a little... Just, just pour some out of the chip. Well, you just got chunks of chicken. Well, all right. Let me get. The liquidy aspect. I mean, it's not. If you give it, ah, going in. Okay, but once it goes in your mouth, it tastes like it's just a straight liquid. Mm-hmm. Like it's. There you go. <clears throat> it's not bad. Oh. <laughs> I mean the the Frank. Ah. I find so hard. The Franks. And it's in your hair. You could definitely taste the Frank's hot sauce in this. It's not overpowering. Um, the cream cheese really offsets the heat that you would normally get from a Frank's. Maybe it has to sit to thicken. Yeah, I mean, we're going to give it a minute. I'm just going right out the gate because I want to try it. The chicken, Jen makes a chicken dip, a hot sauce chicken dip from scratch. It's a lot thicker. Oh, yeah, a homemade one mm -hmm. would be a lot thicker than this. Um, you also have to remember it was frozen and it, it's going to be a little more liquidy. Yeah, but... Hmm. Melt in your mouth. Yeah, but it's like already melted when it goes in yeah. your mouth. But for a frozen chicken dip? It's not bad. No. Um. Again, I am not a fan of cream cheese, but it's not. They blend well together. Uh, you definitely, you definitely get a cream cheese aftertaste so much. Not so much, I mean, rather. But the way the cheese... The cream cheese and the Franks meld in together. If you're a fan of cream cheese, you will really like it. Yeah. I will say this, however. <clears throat> the chicken itself is almost non-existent. I noticed that. There's, mm -hmm. there's like, no chunks in that. Here. Mm -hmm. They're little shreds. It's, like, little... Hmm. Now, it's definitely more like liquid than <clears throat> chicken. The chicken itself, it's a little, I'm not going to say imitation, but no, it's I'm totally, really liking this. That's totally like imitation. Mm -hmm. But you could definitely, it is definitely a frozen texture to it. So it is uh, a little rubbery. Mm -hmm. Now this is, as it's cooling down though, it is starting to thicken up, thicken thicken. I wouldn't say that the chicken is a bad thing in it. Just don't isolate the chicken and eat just the chicken and you're fine. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, it's not bad. Overall, um, flavor, I'm gonna give it an 8. It's spot, you can definitely tell it's Frank's. Yeah. It's spot on Frank's hot sauce. Um, but like, you know, read the directions, guys. 
Like I said, it says let's sit for two minutes, but... You know, I'm fat you know, and hungry. We're horrible people, so we don't wait for shit. Yeah. Like, if I was craving a buffalo chicken dip, and I didn't want to make it myself, mm -hmm. this would be totally fine. That is Can not you bad. use crab meat, honest question? Um... I could see, yeah. Like, adding to this... I would definitely... Or instead of chicken, maybe? Yeah. I mean, it comes with chicken. That's just the package from the store. Um, but I would definitely... You could throw some imita imitation crab meat in here if you wanted to, to kind of, like, bolster it up a little bit. I personally don't like using imitation crab meat because it's imitation crab meat. It's literally 5% crab meat. Most of it's made with pollock fish and artificial flavors. So imitation crab meat, to me, is no... Would you recommend it after a night of drinking? I would actually recommend this while you're drinking. Mm -hmm. This would be a really good drunk food or like munchy snack. Yeah. I have no... Actually, that would be a fantastic snack for that. Mm -hmm. Um, I have no objections to this. So, so far the Taipei chicken fried rice, thumbs up. The Frank's Red Hot Sauce chicken dip, two thumbs up. Now I'm going to go uh, check on our, because I heard the microwave go off, our vegetable plant-based um, lasagna. We saved the best for last, maybe. Comes from us from Bird's Eye. We'll see how that comes out. So i got to follow the directions on that one, which I'm pretty sure are probably going to be overcomplicated and I don't want to deal with. Yes, Barry, for any activities that may or may not be taking place on the date of 420, this would be an excellent snack, regardless of what you choose to do. <clears throat> Get it. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, guys. 420 I... falls on Taco Tuesday this year. <clears throat> We've been training for this. I, I just, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Yeah, I mean, this is actually, I'm really okay with this. I mean, put aside the whole sodium content, because damn. Yeah, you should not eat this in one sitting. This We're going thing. to, but you shouldn't. Um, ten servings. Can so... we film a form twenty special? That was Vicky. What's that? Can we film a four twenty special? Uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to do something like that because censorship. It's also on a Tuesday. Yeah, and it is on a Tuesday. Now I mean, we could. The Sunday before, we'll do some four twenty munchies. That may or may not have anything to do with any activities taking place on the We week. don't condone, nor do we abide, the dude abides, um, in any 420, per se, activities. If you do, you do you, babe. So that's Sunday before. For those of you who do celebrate 420, we'll do a whole menu for y'all. How's that sound? Uh, what is the serving size for each one? Well, Jennifer, for the Frank's Red Hot, uh, serving size is two tablespoons, and you should get about ten servings out of this little container. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's a celebration of the earth. We're, we're American. It's one serving. I mean, come on. Um, now, the serving size here for the Taipei fried rice, obviously, serving size is one package, one container. I'm really enjoying this. It now. might, guys, it might be, <clears throat> certain activities might be legal soon, but, yeah. I mean, st there's still places where it's not, so. Mm -hmm. So. You still got, we, we're we still will... being careful, plus, just, God forbid, somebody's watching the show, mm -hmm. we're still going to be careful talking about it. Yeah, we're not abiding, nor endorsing any of that stuff. You guys well, do it What on... any of us choose to do during our own, uh-huh, uh, Day-to-day -day activities is, is our own business. What you, you know? do behind your doors is none of my business. I'm really enjoying this, though. Hmm. I just... Mm, this is... I, I'm questioning right. this one. So. I really like lasagna, and I really don't want it to be ruined for me by zucchinis and lentils. This is... Let's check another couple of items that we have up for grabs this month. <clears throat> Pinky's out. I'm drinking tea. Ice tea. Now, this comes to us. This, guys, is our first chase. We have a Funko Chase. If you don't know what that is, look it up. 
So limited chase editions on any anything. These are the rare, hard to find, really limited edition ones. This is a Trolls World Tour. Uh, this is a character branch, I believe was voiced by Justin Timberlake. But this is our first Funko Chase limited edition we've ever done on the show. Pretty kick-ass. This comes to us from our friend Raul Cruz. Uh, he is connected to Collector's Crate, guys. Go check out Collector's Crate. Follow him on Instagram, the Facebooks, all that jazz. So Raul works with them quite often. He branched on on his own for the most recent Wayne Toy Show. Go to VeteriProductions.com. Check out all their shows they do all year. That's Viteri, V-E-T-E-R-I, Productions.com. But, Raul, thank you for this gift. It's our first ever limited edition Chase Funko we've ever done on the show. And these two guys. Um, we got the Walgreens exclusive Sandman, 80 Years of Marvel, and Craven the Hunter Funko Pops. And if memory serves me correctly, guys, I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I am. These come to us gifted by our friends at Toy Junkies. Again. I can barely see that. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram. But our friends down at uh, Toy Junkies, they hooked us up with these guys a little while ago. I've just been waiting to pull the trigger on them. And y'all remember I started painting again. So, in honor of that, again, from our friends at Collector's Crate, we got a Bob Ross, the joy of painting. So, there's a Bob Ross Funko holding a paintbrush. Bob Ross has recently become my spirit animal. So, uh, in honor of that, thank you, everybody at Collector's Crate, for that one. Um, James, I'm not going to be able to tonight because, one, I don't know how long we're going to be here, and then, two, I got homework and stuff I got to get done before... Now, y'all remember last year, we did uh, a special episode here where we used a flamethrower to barbecue hot dogs outside. We may or may not have gotten in trouble with the local authorities on that one. But to uh, celebrate the anniversary of 30 years of Deadpool, I'm pleased to meet you. This is the Deadpool grilling with a flamethrower, Funko Pop. Valerie, our deal is still in order. I picked this one up the, uh, yesterday, though, at our local GameStop located here in Succasuna, New Jersey. No, wait. No, Valerie, I got this one. Sorry. I got this one from Collector's Crate. <laughs> Look, I'm having a rough week. I got this one from Collector's Crate, guys. So it's the 30th anniversary Deadpool Funko. And also to celebrate... Deadpool's 30th anniversary. Here we have this one I did get at GameStop, located in Succasuna, New Jersey. Um, this is the 30th anniversary Deadpool Funko with his little 30th anniversary, 30 birthday, birthday cake right there. <laughs> Valerie, I'll talk to you about that other thing later. So, like I said, guys, we are Funko Pop heavy this month. We've got six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different Funkos on top of the Pop Shield Armor Protector from the Jersey Collectibles and Supplies. Also, we got the four-pack of tickets for the Garden State Discovery Museum located in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Which, by the way, Vicki, I know you're still watching. Thank you for. Yep, thank you for that, Vicki. Your microwave's dinging a lot. I know. We got the Wolverine number 3 CBCS Signature Series autographed by Mark Bagley, the Virgin variant cover, which is gorgeous and now i'm gonna take another quick bite of this this is really tasty you're also dropping rice all over the like the, the dog will get it um so right now we're two for two we've sampled the taipei chicken fried rice not bad i gave it a seven out of ten we did the frank's red hot buffalo style chicken dip which I give it an 8 out of 10. Chris, you can, I don't know if you can cook a hot dog with a car battery, but you can do it with a <laughs> homemade flamethrower. Yeah. Go check that episode out. Car battery? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Flamethrower? Totally worked. Outdoor grilling. You're going to outdoor grill the flamethrower? 
You can do hot dogs perfectly fine. No, the funny thing is, Valerie, he's not stalling on the lasagna. He's really just rambling a lot. Yeah. Like I, I said, know when he's stalling. It's been a rough week. All right, let's go get that vegetable lasagna. Let's fingers crossed on this one. I'm going to get myself some more orange juice to drown this bitch in. Oh, don't that look interesting as sin. I'm kind of worried. He just said that looked interesting as sin. All right. I'm really not looking forward to this one. Nope. Oh, I do not like the smell that just occurred when you walked past me. All right. So, um... The smell is not great, and... All right, so here's here's the end result. It looks like a bowl of slop. Pretty much. Let's, uh... Um... <clears throat> oh, that fell out. Ew. Well, that, uh, that reduced greatly. Now, if you guys have ever done a microwave lasagna, um, they relatively keep their shape. Like it I said... It does look burnt, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The, it, you got a nice crust going on the edge here. That's 100% burnt. No, it's not burnt, but it's... No, that's burnt. Yeah, it's burnt. It's definitely burnt. All right, so... I'm just getting some of the edges off here. So again, this comes from bird's eye. Now, first of all, lift up one of the edges. Does it actually have layers in it? Because otherwise it's not a lasagna. This thing's about as layered as I am the Pope. So it it's not lasagna. It itself well. So but, it's a noodle on top with freaking sauce yeah. and meat. So let's gonna give it a try. Well, we're definitely gonna let that cool down because that's just all right, my turn. a little hot. So, um, Let's see. next up, you guys want to know the nutritional label. So this is the bird's eye pasta made from vegetables. I'm going to give it its fair amount. Right. Serving size is one container. The sodium is 1,260 milligrams of sodium. Bobby's, uh, I'm going to flip around here. Oh, I don't really want to be on camera tonight. Thank you Bobby's not going to be on <laughs> camera now, so I'm just going to put that right back where it was. Bobby's taking a pretty generous bite of this. I'm, I'm trying to get some of everything in here to give it a fair chance. Even though I hate almost everything that's in it. Yeah, but uh, lentil zucchini pasta layered between savory tomato beef sauce with three cheeses. Um, I don't know. It kind of deconstructed itself in the microwave. There are It deconstructs itself in your mouth. Yeah. It, um, it does have oven options. <sighs> So, uh, I did it in the microwave, though. Uh, cook on high for two minutes. Cook on medium for nine to 11 minutes. Check the food is cooked thoroughly. Careful, it's hot. Room film, let's stand for five minutes. Or you can preheat your oven to 375. Peel back corner of film to vent. Cook on a baking sheet in center of the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Remove film. Check that the food is cooked thoroughly. So, it, if I were to be blindfolded, right... Uh -huh. And you've told me, you fed that to me, and you told me you were feeding me lasagna, I would instantly know for a fact that it was not lasagna. Yeah. You can clearly taste that that is, that is not made with, with the, the pasta-y, cheesy goodness that it should be made with. Now, uh, I mean... It doesn't taste bad. It's very pasta sauce heavy, though. No, I got a lot of, I got a lot of everything going on here. It's, it's a lot of pasta. Like, the pasta sauce almost drowns out the taste of the vegetables. Yeah. But you can definitely taste vegetables and not meat. Mm -hmm. or I can't taste the meat at all. I don't know about you. I cannot taste meat. I mean, it's got... Mark my words. It looks nothing like the picture, but it never does. Um, but do you taste meat in it? I mean, I do, and I don't. It's not bad. It's not bad, but um, I wouldn't... I, they got a lot of nerve calling it a lasagna. Yeah. Let me put it that way. I mean, if you've ever had the standard Stouffer's frozen lasagna, it's layered enough to qualify as a lasagna. If, if they said that this was meat and pasta, then I'd be fine. Now, this one... Oh, oh. it's not even pasta. It's vegetables. Oh, there's <laughs> a chunk of beef. Okay, so there's your meat. Is it plant-based or meatless? It... No, it's a plant-based pasta. Uh, it's still the... a meat sauce. This is not vegan or vegetarian by any means. It's not plant-based. Okay, so... There's meat and cheese in it. The only thing is the pasta is made from vegetables. Mm -hmm. So it's not plant-based. It's nothing like that. It's just yeah. the, the pasta itself is no. vegetable made. The pasta is made with lentil zucchini. Um, but it's still got a regular meat tomato sauce in it. 
but uh, try to get some of the burnt edge off of here and see if that makes any difference. I mean, I've eaten multiple different kinds of frozen. You want to try that crusty part? No. Okay. I'm trying to get just the pasta. Like, I've had many different kinds like, of. I'm scraping uh, the sauce off and everything. I want just pasta. Of frozen lasagnas. Hands down, the Stouffer's one's the best. Um, you know what? I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um. Oh. Okay, do me a favor, though. Yeah. What do you got? So, I'm giving you just a piece of pasta. Here's a piece of pasta. Nothing else. Okay. First of all, the all right. consistency in your mouth, and all then right. the aftertaste. All right, so here is just the pasta we dug out. <laughs> yes, it's a very mushy texture. Yo, yeah. No, I understand that they're not supposed to be. They're they're for college students and stuff like that. But even even for somebody that would be on a budget, I've eaten my fair share. I actually used to eat this stuff for fun. Yeah. I loved microwave dinners, TV. Di this is pushing it for me. No, I mean, you know, if you're on the go, an office snack kind of thing. And, like... I mean, it's not horrible. It's not bad, but I'm just... I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it's not... This it's not, not lasagna. No, this would not be my go-to. No. Like I said, you microwave this thing. Maybe um, if you baked it, it would be better. Yeah, it's just... I don't just, know. But I, I, it's... Yeah, there's, a, there's just a big chunk of the pasta right there. It's It's more like a pasta sauce slop. Yeah. Um, it the taste itself is okay. I'm not nagging the taste. Like right. it, it's not bad. It's just it's not mm -hmm. lasagna. <laughs> now, as far as frozen lasagnas go, the bird's eye uh, vegetable pasta. Now, this is just on a whole. As far as a frozen microwave pot lasagna would go, I'm gonna give this a five. It's not bad. It's not great. Um, I mean, if I had nothing else to eat, yeah, I'm going to eat it, obviously, because I'm eating it. If I had a choice, I'm definitely not going for this. Like, I'm just I'm just a little put off. Like, yeah. if you eat just the, the pasta part, I'm just, um, it's it's really mushy. Yeah, it's very, very it's really soft. Mushy. Um, it does not have the consistency of pasta at all. Um, Which, I it, mean, I didn't expect it to have, yeah. like, complete pasta now, texture because it's vegetables. Now, the actual but... meat sauce, it is, mm. it is a very heavy tomato paste. There's bits of meat in here and there. So, um... But the amount of pasta sauce yeah. with it makes it very, very hard to but, taste. But, uh, it. bird's eye, you know, you're saying meat sauce? Hmm... Add a little bit more meat to it, maybe. Yeah. The cheese is a good... The, the, there's a good amount of cheese in it, though. Oh, yeah. It's like the perfect amount of cheese. That's one thing it's got going for it. It's not too much, but you definitely I mean, taste here's, it. Here's a little regatta. What a got we got right here. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it might not be so bad in the oven. It might crisp up a little bit better. Yeah. I'm also worried about it burning more on the top, though, because if it did that just in the microwave alone, mm -hmm. I'm worried about the oven, because it said, what, like 20 minutes in there? Uh, Like 45. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be a little worried about that. With how small so, that tray is. Again, though, guys. In review. Um, the Taipei chicken fried rice. Really impressed. Um, it, it wasn't... I thought it was going to be just bland and basically frozen tasting. The vegetables, you can definitely taste throughout. The peas are very predominant. I love peas. I'm still eating the buffalo dip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the corn, the carrots, even the chicken. Um, I mean, the rice stayed pretty separate. It didn't clump up too much. And the peas aren't so bad. If I was able to eat around mm -hmm. them, then there weren't too many. So, definite thumbs up for Taipei. You guys did a pretty good job for frozen rice. I was shocked. Um, Now, the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Ooh. The buffalo-style oh. chicken dip. Hold on. That shit just redeemed itself in the chicken department. I just Ooh, got nothing it. but a chunk of chicken inside that piece of chip. Uh-huh. 
I uh, no, it was actually really fucking good. Damn it, drop my chip. For the dog. Yeah. Now the Frank's again, the Frank's red hot buffalo style chicken dip, new on the market. Go digging for some chicken in there, like a big chunk of it. It's not bad. Oh, there you go. Okay. I mean the chicken's in there though. Yeah, but like when you got the one or two pieces, it tasted a little bit like rubbery. Mm-hmm. No, you get the big chunk of it and you can actually it's chicken. It is chicken. Right. Mmm. Peas taste like little balls of dirt. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, so now we've had a chance for the stuff to cool down a little bit. It thickened up a little bit and I can find the chicken. That's in some it. good flavor. I actually really like this. I think that the buffalo dip wins on this hands down. This this is the winner of the night though. The Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Style Chicken Dick. Everybody Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Y'all hit a home run with that. Bird's eye, yeah, you need to step up your game a little bit. Like, again, it's not bad. So the Franks were given an 8 out of 10. Oh, I you're thoroughly... giving it. Yeah. Well, what's your what's your take on everything? Franks are getting a 9 out of 10 for me. Hmm. If it wasn't... Again, I'm only doing an 8 out of 10. Just cause it of redeemed itself cheese. a lot after it, like, thickened yeah. up a little bit and... I mean, if it was, like, more cheddar-based... If it had a little bit more chicken in it... Yeah, like the one we did, I did a, a... Oh, that's just all pasta. Okay. The fried rice to me is a, a 7, because it's got peas in it. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, Frank's is only getting 8 for me because of the cream cheese. Oh! Now, that's the bottom layer. I just dug it out of this bird's eye. Yeah, I mean... You can... It it doesn't like I said. We should have let this cool down a minute. It's not bad. I'm not no. saying it's bad at all. Um, it just it tastes like a right. tomato heavy mush. Like it's not my. I mean, the pasta it it actually comes out quite well on the bottom. <laughs> mm. If you're being a little bit more health conscientious, conscientious. Um, I'd honestly, if that was the case, I would just take the extra steps and make one yourself. Yeah. Now, this is a little bit healthier than your standard frozen lasagna. I mean, the sodium, any frozen food you get, the sodium's going to be up there, guys. So you got to watch out for that one hardcore. Ever since uh, I was having, uh, with my high blood pressure and everything, I can't even tell you the last time I ate uh, Stouffer's frozen dinner. And Bobby will tell you, I would eat three of those things in one sitting because I'm a scumbag. Well, let me see. But I mean, it's a little bit healthier. Well, you also have to keep in mind because they don't understand mm -hmm. portion control in this but, I mean, country. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that that whole thing normally people wouldn't eat that big of a thing in, yeah. and have that I mean, much sodium put in their body. It is filling. I am enjoying it. I'm not hating it. I mean, don't get me wrong, but. Maybe in the oven, it would probably be a little bit better. I just, I really, I really honestly think that this is one of those things where it, it might take a little bit more time, but you might be better off just making your own bigger portion and then cutting it and freezing it into, like, yeah. maybe little meals and stuff. And Because, yeah, I in mean, a pinch, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're going to go, if you're just going to entertain some guests, guys, I highly recommend the Frank's Red Hot. This buffalo chicken dip. I mean, it's not the one I made, because that was just fantastic. Precious is taking a nap, actually. Yeah, Precious is upstairs in a fucking food coma. But this is, uh... Mm -hmm. It's very mild. It's not overpowering Frank's. Like I said, the cheese... A combination of the cheese... And the cream cheese makes it a little bit milder. It has a very good flavor to it. I would definitely recommend the Franks, though. That buffalo-style chicken dip, that's pretty kick-ass. Oh, it's definitely healthier than fast food. Yeah. 100% all of this is healthier than fast food. Um, And again, the chicken fried rice from Taipei. Oh, that's probably still healthier than chicken fried rice from a restaurant. Mm-hmm. This is very enjoyable to me. For frozen Chinese food... Yeah, I, I will admit, that's probably... I, am, I don't think I've ever had fresh chicken fried rice from a restaurant that tastes as good as that does. Mm -hmm. it, every time I get it from a restaurant, it's bland. That I'm, tastes I'm quite, fantastic. I'm quite shocked at how good this is. 
Oh, let's not get into MSG levels. Yeah. Again, <laughs> that's, that's pushing it. I'm only giving it a seven. <laughs> and I'm dropping the rice all over my lap. Um, I mean, it feels... To me, it tastes like it's lacking something. I'm not quite sure what. But it is enjoyable. So if you're in an office setting, guys... Um, I have one more of this in our stores. Give it a shot. Um, it is only 740 milligrams of sodium, which is actually, for a frozen food, that's pretty friggin' low. Um, but it is a pretty good... Now, I did see in the store there are other varieties of this. There's like an orange chicken, a General Cho's. Um, does it have MSG, that? Does this have MSG? It doesn't say MSG free, right? Uh, made in the USA. Like us on Facebook. Um... No. Oh, this is important, guys. If you have a shellfish allergy, it says it right on here. Contains soy, wheat, and molluscan shellfish oyster. So if you have a shellfish or if you have a shellfish recipe uh, allergy, do not get this. Huh. I didn't see that. Thank God I'm not allergic to shellfish, because damn. Always read your ingredients on your packages, guys. Um, yeah, somebody's not so great at that. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah. But that's why it's called Cooking with Stupid. So that's what we got for you guys tonight. Um, so in review, like I said, our Taipei New to the Market Chicken Fried Rice Frozen Food. 7 out of 10. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I was kind of, kind of astounded at how tasty that was. Um, our winner of the night, though, is definitely the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Style Chicken Dip. This is, this is damn good. Um, yeah, there is nothing on here that says MSG free, so. Yeah, so you take that with what you will. And, uh, the Bird's Eye Pasta Made from Vegetables Lasagna with Meat Sauce. Eh, 5 out of 10. Um, would it be my go-to? No. Is it bad? Not at all. Is it great? Not at all. It's... But it's... It's there. You know? Give it, it a shot. It is sufficient for the job that it's meant to do, which is to feed you. Yeah. Um, you just want a nice, filling, fast thing? <clears throat> Go ahead, get it. I mean, I'm already full of food just by eating that little bit that I ate. I only had a couple... I Honestly, I had a couple bites of everything, and that was all. Yeah. But, um... It is pretty good. I'm not complaining, but I love this Frank's dip. Not bad. It's not mine, but it's not bad. So, guys, thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Cooking with Soup at the number one. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. I haven't been uploading stuff to that lately. I'm working on it. I got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that I just don't have time for shit. I'm going to get better on that, though. Um... That's it. We'll see you guys next Sunday live on our Facebook page. Uh, and then the following Sunday, don't forget, April 20, oof, April 25th, we have our uh, live charity fundraiser auction. And I said earlier in the show, we were going to tell you who we're doing that for. So um, we were playing it around. We were playing around and we were on uh, GoFundMe. And honestly, I was going to randomly select like a GoFundMe and just go for it. You know, pick one with like a medical bill or something. And last week, sorry, the week before, we were at the Wayne Toy Show, located at 1 PAL Drive, Wayne, New Jersey. They're the first Saturday of every single month. Go check them out. Great toy show. Darren Ock said smooches before you said anything. I wanted to make oh, sure you saw Darren. that. I didn't want you to miss it before you go. I'm honestly, I'm not getting any updates on any of the messages. Oh, here we go. Um, did you scroll up? I did now. So, um, we bumped into a, a, an acquaintance of ours, I'm going to say. Uh, her name is Kelly O'Neill. Now, I know her through different conventions that I've either worked or gone to. Um, so, she's like a casual acquaintance, I guess. Okay, I still don't that. But it turns out, um, Kelly has a GoFundMe started. Uh, we'll post a link up for that at the end of the auction next, not this Sunday coming up, the following Sunday. <laughs> Um, but Kelly's got some stuff going on, so we're going to do her GoFundMe. Um, she's got some medical conditions, she's got some surgeries coming up, 
She's going to need a little help for uh, for all the bills that are going to come up. <laughs> you know what medical bills are like in America. <laughs> so she's got a GoFundMe set up. We're going to help her out as best we can. Like I said, I know her from the convention circuits. You know, all the comic cons I've been to. Nice lady. No complaints. She seems cool. I friend her on Facebook. No. Oh, nice person. We're going to help her out. That's going to be, again, April 25th, live, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our Cooking with Stupid Facebook page. But, until then, and as always, everyone, oh, I'm out of iced tea. Gatorade! <laughs> Gatorade Fierce Strawberry. Love it. Eat, drink. Battery said very nice person, too. Yes, yeah, she is. Eat, drink, and stay healthy, everyone. Ciao. Are you feeling refreshed? Are you, is your thirst quenched? My, my thirst is quenched. I can feel the electrolytes working now. Are they strong or weak electrolytes? Well, it's like I used to say to my mom. She said drinking was going to kill brain cells, and I always just said, yep, only the weak ones. Ciao, everybody.